Hey everyone, D Dub Squizzy here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I just noticed there's buildings over there. Interesting, I never saw that before. If you wish. Alright. So we got the spider infested tombs down here, which normally would concern me, but given that I'm immune. Oh. Given that I'm immune to the poison, I don't have to worry about that anymore. It's just these things. Ow. I do want to check real quick. Disease and poison. Alright, good. So diseases won't get me either. I could never remember. I knew it protected you from poison, but I wasn't sure about disease. Alright, that ring will make me significantly more capable in many regards. And look, I'm already healed from that hit that I got. It was only four damage, but that's how rapidly this ring heals you. So glad I've got it. I'm also kind of sad I'm down to two lives now. That sword not silencing people really caught me off guard. I'll do my best to make do without it. I think I can. Oh, there's more. I wasn't aware of this group. Interesting. Daystar is doing extra damage against those things. Sword spiders are evil. I've been through these dungeons a couple times. So I, I think I know where all of the traps and whatnot are. The woman inside could be... I mean, like, I don't think she's really... Actually, wait a second. I've got the sunbeam. That's right. That yes. doesn't just hurt undead. Uh, yeah, yeah. It'll blast any of those little spiders near me as well. And I'm pretty sure it can't be interrupted. So I can use that to nullify her and her army. Missed. Missed. Two misses. Man, you take away their poison. Spiders just cannot defend themselves, can they? I'm really trying to figure out what to do next. Like, once I'm done here, there's all the bridge stuff I can do. I guess I could do Corgan and Keldorn's uh, quests as well, because those are both very short and worth some pretty significant XP. And so I could knock those two out. Probably boost myself up a little more. I need to get high level abilities. I'm worried about taking the risk of doing a lot of this, these things without those. I think I could do the planar prison in my current state. It'd be tough, but I'm pretty sure I can. I, I think I should pick up the Blade of Roses as well. I have hidden myself. Something drained my strength. I just noticed I was doing low damage. What the heck hit me? Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Hmm. No worries. What? It is done. Oh, glory for the dark mother! Now we do this. Ha ha ha. 
My damage was real low, but it was more than enough to deal with her. Now I've finally got Kithix. Okay, um... Frankly, I should just keep those out, because I'm going to be needing them a lot. I think I'm going to have a rather crowded inventory pretty soon. Okay, let me think. I normally have a, a system I do these by. I think that that's not right. No, I had it right the first time. There we go. Now, we'll put Kithix away. For now. I m if I need her later, I can always use it. Simple. I have hidden myself. Say white? That did say it's a white. That if thing is not wish. a white. Actually, kill them. Yes. What do you want? Just need to get these traps out of the way. Then we yeah. can go tag team that vampire. Gotcha. What a rip off. It's worth nothing. A lot of screaming going around. It is done. This is actually oh. normally a, a relatively dangerous room. I'm pretty sure those whites can level drain you. I know for certain the vampire can. While he can also charm you, the skeleton warriors act as good defense and the ghasts are all around annoying because if they hold you, you know, you're done. Ah, my spell is lost. Sure, dude. Whatever. Alright, I shouldn't need him anymore. Did I get another attack around? I'm getting seven every two now. I got another half attack. I always do it that way simply because I don't trust that there isn't one of them hiding in the shadows. Sometimes the whites will be invisible when you, uh, come across those groups. Or something like that. I've been taken by surprise by them in the past. There we are. These mummies are worth 3,000 apiece, so you want to stack up on them. Kill as many as you can. Edwin's got a weird quest here. 
that takes forever if you decide to do it. I've done it a couple times, the whole him getting turned into a Duina thing, and then that other uh, red wizard coming along to help. It's a bizarre quest line. Particularly because I think you can go through the rest of the game, and as long as you don't let the other wizard turn him back, or you finish it before he gets a chance to, Edwin just enters Throne of Ball as a woman and stays that way, or something like that. I'm not certain if that's the case, but I think that's a, a possibility. And Corrigan's quest is right here, of course. So I'll come back eventually to um, clear this out, because more undead will spawn when I return with Corrigan. But that's all for the lower tombs. So now I need to head over to the bridge district. I can kill the, uh, the fallen paladins, and then go back to the temple, get my gloves. Apparently there's a scroll on that altar uh, with the thing I said you have to heal to kill it that I, I don't have any healing capabilities to deal with. There's a scroll Simple. on an altar next to it that can be used by anyone, and it's a healing scroll. I wasn't aware of that. But the gloves should work as well, because they heal a flat 10 hit points, which is enough to kill it. Because I don't think it actually matters on the damage, it's just about healing it. Okay, so I should go to a place to sell. Actually, I think I can go straight down to the bridge district. And this would be a good time, actually, to use Kithix. The thing is, I'm going to have to take on, I think, four or five fallen paladins, Reynald de Chatelain, and Anarg. And they're all pretty competent at what they do, mm. which is killing. So you want as much backup as you can get. Kithix lasts for an hour, which is plenty of time. I would like to have my... No, you know what? Let's do it. I have set my trap well. I have set my trap well. Ow. That probably poisoned him, didn't it? Okay. Anarg is going to spawn down here. Let's get him up here so I can at least get him in the traps. Oh, and Reynolds coming over. Ooh. Okay, fall back. Kill that one. Didn't take a hit. It was Reynold and Anarg I was worried about. Those two were surprisingly competent. The rest of these guys, the real issue with them is there's four of them. They're all using two-handed swords. And they're all hard to hit because they're wearing plate mail. On top of that, they have a bunch of health. And I need to get Hide and Shadows high enough I can use it anywhere. Once I have that, I don't know, let's say around 150, base. And then move silently up at 100, I'm going to start putting up Detect Illusion. I'll be right back to the bridge. First, I need to go yeah. deliver those, uh, or the cup back. Finish this quest, get the cup out of my inventory so it's not taking up space. Okay, so there's three groups in the bridge district. I don't plan on fighting the Twisted Rune yet. They're a whole, whole ordeal to deal with. Um, which then leaves the Cleric House... And that other group of guys, the pirates, not really pirates, the mercenaries. The mercenaries have two spellcasters, which I could nullify immediately with protection from magic. Their leader uses a returning throwing dagger, so he has to die. The others are all strong fighters, just like the paladins, but they're wearing full plate, 
and I think they're a little bit just tougher in general. Hmm. It is done. The cleric's house is just four people. One mage, one cleric, two fighters. There we go. Those can also neutralize poison, but I'm immune to poison now. Fifteen... Not fifteen. Hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, away from XP. From leveling up. As I thought. Yes. What do you want? So the Skinner murders are another thing I can do, and I will do this episode, but they're risky too. The thing about them is at the end of it, there's these two rune assassins on the lowest level, and they're quick, very dangerous. They can go invisible repeatedly, Sick. and they can see through invisibility. They're not a pleasant encounter, let me say. But there's a lot of XP to be had just out of tracking down those clues and then solving the murder. Okay, this this if is pretty wish. much all trapped, if I remember. The trap on that chest is a maze trap. That thing will end the game if it catches you in it. Even if it did, I wouldn't count it as a lost life, because Maze isn't actual death in this game. If you have one other person, much like Charm, you'll be fine. But the game's engine doesn't know how to differentiate, so it just reads it as death. should go sell some things and rest. Yeah, yeah. The cleric's house is right here, with all that group in them. I can speak to these people, too. wrong. There we go. It's weird actually having spells in here again. On my normal games, I'll have a mage in a party, and every spell I come across, unless it's one I'm currently using, I will erase and then rememorize for the XP boost, like I was doing with Imowin back in Irenicus's dungeon. Alright. Okay, so now I have the info <clears throat> the info I need for the Skinner. I can go tell the Lieutenant. You don't have to tell the Lieutenant. You can go confront Regic immediately. And he'll confess. Hmm. Then he'll run for it. But if you do the Lieutenant route, I believe you get several thousand more experience when you deliver the corpse to the government. I'll make a personal trip to the Tanners and check this out. Alright, so he's dead now. I'm gonna get some rest and go out to the Cleric's house. So it's a pretty tricky thing to do. I need to see if their mage 
cast true sight if I sneak in there. If not, I might be able to figure something else out. The thing is, there's no talking. They're all enemies right as you arrive. They got one cleric, one mage. Of course. And then two fighters. In the name of the council, I am here I'll try to one more order. time. Okay, I rested. So let me sneak on in. He does not. It is done. I thought I have hidden myself. Huh. Okay, they have two clerics. Bye bye. If you wish. Come on, man. Whoa, she's following. I have hidden myself. Did they go back inside? She didn't. I think the other dude did. Where are you going? She is going back inside. Nope, they're just walking around. Alright, I'll kill Falahar. Missed. Of course I did. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand for her, too. I always forget how much these people are worth. I wonder how much uh, Draconderos, or whatever his name was, was worth. Let's find out. Eight thousand for the mage, six thousand for the cleric, twelve thousand for each of the fighters. So, yeah. Big haul for very little difficulty. The other group is not as easy to deal with, because there's four of them. And they don't chase you so stupidly. Fortunately, you have time to just walk in and set up around them, because they're all blue. You can make them docile. And then just do whatever, and they don't say boo to anything, so... I think I'll do the same thing with Kithix. Um, and then just... I'll have my Simulacrum drop protection for magic on both of their spellcasters. Summon some Kithix on other sides of the room to keep them occupied. And then we can attack the captain with the boomerang dagger. Kill him the fastest. That'll leave the four other mercs, who are very dangerous. If it comes down to it, I can flee the room. I'm gonna go in and see Realis Shy real quick, just so I can get this out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Hmm. Uh. No, Kiramaldo, I cannot. Uh, I oh dear. I, I, I tell them to come and speak to I. Rael is shy. I am here. Until then, I apologize again and bid you a fair evening. Uh, hello. I am afraid if you are looking for a refund for tonight's performance, I can only tell you to come back when our troop is not in such disarray. Alright, so that's going to be difficult when I choose to do it. Free and Herod Elise isn't that hard. Mechrath, sometimes you can reason with, sometimes you can't. I've done a quest for him before, but it's not very consistent. But I'm not worried about him. The Planar Prison is a nightmare hellscape. Without any uh, like spare lives, I'm kind of frightened of it. As I thought. I'll do it, but... Oh, right, and uh, these people. So I could ransom the woman as well. But what you get out of it is just the silver pantaloons. And I don't have the golden ones. So I'll just set her free and get the reward. I don't think she gives you an actual reward, but you get, like, XP and stuff. So this is F3. Explain your intent and make it good. The other guy was in his way. Awesome. Okay. There's a dwarf in here with a bunch of hit points. He's basically Menkar Pebble Crusher. 
and then a dude who will try to run. I'll kill that dude right as I get outside. You have to die first. Ow. He critted. Then crit missed. I have hidden myself. Thank you. I think the extra missile attack defense is more helpful, frankly. Missile's now minus 9. I've still got 140 hide and shadows because of the armor and 80 on move silently. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure it isn't trapped. They don't have anything super good to loot anyway. Stand where you're at, peasant. What do you want? Uh, 16,000 XP. Hmm. I'm still a it long ways off. I keep forgetting, I gotta split all the XP I get two ways. Alright, so I only have one improved haste left. Can I sleep again? Okay. In the name of the council, I am here to keep order. I need it to be nighttime anyway. I'm gonna head over to the five flagons. I'm gonna get some rest. I'm gonna go up and kill those muggers who will attack me at nighttime. Then I can go over and do that. That'll have everything else I plan on doing done. As I thought. Then I can deal with the skinner. Hello, me good smiling friends. You will suffer. Oh, yes. I have hidden myself. So he summoned like four guys, but they all spawn in weird locations. I imagine it's a bugged encounter, because it does it every time. I have hidden myself. And I can't seem to find any rhyme or reason to it. Because it's not like they zero in on your location or anything. They just all stand really far away. I don't think there's any down here. Oh, there is one. I could never remember. And then there's like one more up here. I think there's one up here. No, oh, guess not. Okay. So we'll go down to deal with Delisars now. Right, I can't even deal with the Twisted Rune yet because I don't have my shield. I need to get that. I also need to pick up the Sling of Everard. I might have enough money to get both now. I feel like there was something else that's expensive that I planned on buying. But I can't remember what. It'll come to me at some other inconvenient point. If you wish. Caesar sure rock this time of year. Okay. So it's just two fighters. I have set my well. Kithix is a uh, phase fighter as well. I have which isn't super helpful. Well. Like At times it could be neat if you could control it. The annoying thing is she'll just zip around I to anyone. Like the nearest well. person that goes enemy. Kithix is on him. I have set my trap well. I like that they're all just cool with me casting these things on them. Hmm. 
Alright, we can't hurt him yet. Let's go kill this guy while we can. The wizard's got annoying protections up. Those protections do not protect him from Kithix. Oh, there they go. I can't carry no more. Your item is on the ground. All right, that's actually a pretty good knife. As I thought. Right, I forgot the other me has the same regeneration effect. Because he's got all the same abilities. So the ring is just the same on him. Alright. I'm going to go sell this, rest again, head over to the Skinners. The Rune Assassins are all I'm really worried about. There's some Ghasts, but I can just Protection from Undead for them. Then there's a Bone Golem. But the Bone Golem isn't all that bad. Like, it seems like it would be. When you see the thing, it looks terrifying. If you and frankly, on this difficulty, it could hit really hard. And it isn't an undead, and I'll also be doing half damage. But to the best of my knowledge, they're worth way more experience, and look way scarier than they actually are. My cavalier on hard difficulty can... Like, the, the, this was the first one that my party encountered, and he soloed the thing. He just went at it with a mace and killed it, before it had a chance to do anything. I'm sorry I am closed at the moment. Come back when I have replenished my stock. So, you were the one who has been yeah, speaking. Yeah, yeah. 23,000 just for talking to him. I have to disable all the traps on the second level. Interestingly enough, this room that's used three or four times for significant locations, actually, has the exact same loot on both of those things everywhere. A potion of regen, an andar gem... And a Shandon gem, I believe. Hmm. Regic is quite the sick and twisted man. Gotta give him credit, though. I could wear that and make my armor class much worse. Okay. So here's the thing. I don't need protection from magic. I might need Kithix. Those rune assassins can see through invisibility. I so I can sneak down there. Well. And they'll be the only ones to follow me. But they will most definitely be following me. So I need to be I ready. Set my trap well. How long does this last? One turn. That's not a lot of time. I have set my trap well. I have set my trap well. I have set my trap. It is done. I have hidden. Prepare to be eviscerated, fool. Oof. Alright, there's probably another one down there. He backstabbed and dealt 70 damage instantly, because it's all doubled. I planned on luring one back up here. I'm relatively certain another one will spawn once I go down there. I have simply. What do you want? Yep, there he is. He's gonna go invisible next. Got him. Alright. There is a bone golem down there. I've got a plan, though. So the improved haste on King Hex's ring... 
doesn't just improve, like, give you improved haste. It, like, triples or doubles your attacks or something. It's crazy. So I can get, yeah, a lot of attacks out. Alright, well. I was not underestimating the damage these things were capable of. Both the Rune Assassins and the Bone Golem could have killed me if I weren't faster. Or if I weren't as fast as I was. These are both things I'm going to keep. I don't need to. I don't plan on using the guessing bow, or really the armor. But it's sort of a hobby of mine in this game to collect everything that you can have the forgers forge. It is done. So I do it every time. As I thought. That's why I kept the pommel jewel of the uh, equalizer. Okay, well actually, yeah, this way is probably shorter. I'm gonna head down to the government. And turn over the corpse. Head off and deposit these things in the slums. And then where to go from there? Actually, I need to go turn down Bodhi in the graveyard just so I can make sure that doesn't happen at an inopportune time. If you wish. You have arrived. You may I have asked you here. Because we are. This is you. You work for these shadow thieves. On the pretense they will help locate your missing companion, Imowin. Yes, they are shadow thieves. And yes, they are as nefarious as you right. probably heard. I knew it. I knew I was going to get waylaid on the way there. I don't like these waylays. I never have. But frankly, I don't feel like risking myself for the pitiful rewards you get out of them. I nothing of value. Please, let me be. In the name of the Council, I am here to keep order. For the glory of arms. I know, I'm such a nice guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Is there something that you need, citizen? 45,000 experience. And a whole 5,000 gold, 500 gold. Yippee. Hmm. Okay, so now. We have the Windspear Hills, the Diarnus thing. Herdlees, the Umar Hills, and the Cult of the Atlas. Yeah, so all of the stuff I still have that's just available to do right there are Stronghold quests. So that leaves me with two companion quests I could do rather quickly. Like, there are others I think I could do. I could spam rest for Animan's thing, but I really don't feel like doing that. I plan on knocking out Keldorns and Corgans. Both are easy. Both are not based on time. And, uh, and they give you pretty significant rewards. Maybe enough to level up one more time. After that, I think it would be most prudent to do the Cult of the Eyeless quest. It is done. I come in here because I need to pick up the shield of Balderon. The Cult of the Eyeless, once I have the shield, um, should be a piece of cake. I don't want to sound overconfident or anything, but um, between the protection from undead, protection from magic, and the shield. I think I can take on whatever I need to. As I thought. There's a couple areas in it that could be hectic. Sim. Like there's a big pile of priests at one point. Um, blind ones in the middle of a particular area. But, but I'm pretty sure if I have protection for magic on, I can't do anything. I would worry about beholders attacking at that point. So I should probably... Well, I've never had them interrupt me before. But then again, I've never been knocked unconscious by that stupid ooze method. And immediately been beset by a group of uh, shadows that came out of nowhere. So I'm not willing to risk much. I'd roll out, clear the area of beholders, go in with the shield on, but still have protection from magic active, so I could kill all the priests. 
And that's really the only hairy encounter I'm worried about. All right. Give me that. Right, the other thing I planned on buying was the, uh, the Blade of Roses. I am going to have way too full of an inventory. I should put Lilarkar away. If you wish. I'll put it in the same hole in the wall. When I'm going somewhere where I might need it, I'll take it with me. All right, so I'll close out this one in the slums. Here's the plan. I go deposit this stuff in my little hole. I go pick up the sling, Everard sling. I can sell the bow and get rid of the arrows. If I need to use a missile weapon, I prefer to have one that can strike anything. And that gives me a bunch of extra to hit. And one that scales with my strength. Yeah, yeah. I can then pick up the Blade of Roses as well. And have a plus three sword. In my offhand. That way I can strike things better. I'd lose the silencing thing, but let's be real. I wasn't really using it, and I don't need it when I have this. I will be making that armor, simply because I might as well. I mean, I'll be killing the Silver Dragon. Or it'll be killing me. Probably that one. That thing is really freaking mm. dangerous. Well, you look like the sort who has more than two gold pieces to rub together. I cannot afford the Sling of Everard. It's... <laughs> it's like a couple thousand out of my range. That's hilarious. There we go. Not a couple thousand, a couple hundred. So I can't pick up the Blade of Roses then. I really underestimated how expensive this sling is. I do only have a 14 reputation. Let's see. It's only 7,000, which is remarkably cheap. I get rid of this because I don't need it. How much are all these worth? Yeah, that's not enough. I'll sell the Sand Thief's Ring. Don't need these anymore. Or these, actually. Or these. I don't need any of those. I don't have anything there. I need that rogue stone. And I'm using everything else. Yeah. I'll come back with the money later. Okay. So we'll be picking up in the next one. Grabbing Corgan. Going and doing his thing then getting Keldorn and doing his. Once we're done with both of those, I think it'd be wise to head off and do the Cult of the Eyeless. I could try against Tarner, the Hatchetman, and his crew again, but I think I want to be a little beefed up more, and there's a lot of XP in the Cult of the Eyeless stuff. Once I'm done with that, I think next step will be kill Tarner, then do the Planar Prison. Yeah, and then we'll move from there. Right, thank you everyone for watching. See you all in the next one.